y'all tonight was a trip what's up fam it's your girl q back at blessed to be a blessing where we are blessed to be a blessing you know it i'm here with our sisters recap y'all tonight was a trip let me tell you so it's entitled well first of all it's season three episode 19 entitled the wild card and baby this episode alone is a wild card it got wild and freaky and kinky and all of that tonight so boom we're gonna go ahead and jump right in and get started it picked right back up with uh andy and gary at her house from last week remember when he tried to go down on her and he popped back up and was like why are your panties on backwards honey he picked right back up from there. So he's like, what's going on, Andy? Why are your panties on backwards? She's like, oh, um, it was a mistake. He was like, no, I know you. You do everything perfect from your hair to your nails to your clothes to your panties. You make sure all of that is perfect. So where you been? What you been doing? He basically accused her of having sex with somebody. So first she was trying to deny it or whatever. And then she was like, you know what? Yep, that's what I was doing. Mm-hmm. I was having sex. I sure was. But I was with another man. So he was like, what? You going to... Y'all, he started acting all crazy. Like, what? You gonna, you gonna make me oh you gonna make me go crazy she was like crazy enough to leave leave get out like she was done with him so he was like oh that's what you want he was like okay well i'm on my way to the gym now we all know when he say he going to the gym you know where he going and what he doing just like andy said honey when you was cheating on your wife with me you was telling her you was going to the gym and over here laid up with me so she mentioned that a couple weeks ago so she already know he got to be cheating so he decided to let her know well you know what yeah i'm going to the gym and she's waiting on me and she's tired of me leaving her to coming back over here for you because i'm so stupid that's what he was like saying he's so stupid or whatever. he so he was like you know what let me call her now honey gary called the woman he sure did put her on speakerphone she was like hey baby he was like hey i'm on my way to you now i just told her that i'm going to the gym so i can come see you she was like okay and he was like hey did you get the flowers i sent you today she was like yeah i did he was like okay well, i'll be on my way and she's like okay i love you honey he told her he loved her back and andy was like oh. she tried to grab the phone child and he yanked away and walked on up out the door Honey, Karen tried to tell her. But see, that's the part that make me not like Andy. Because how dumb do you have to be? Okay? This dude, she done been through way too much with this dude. Way too much. So, boom. That was that. So, since she was upset, she went back over to the hotel with Robin, baby. Yes, she did try to pick up where she left off. Honey, Robin done opened the door with no shirt on and everything. Looking like... <laughs> So he's standing in the doorway with the door cracked like, oh, hey. And she's like, hey, how you doing? What you doing? Can I come in? He was like, well, uh, she's like, oh. So she looks at the room and it's this lady in her little lingerie laid all out on the bed just looking, you know, all posed up. And so she's like, oh, you have company. He was like, yeah. He was like, you want to join? <laughs> and he was like, oh, no. He was like, you sure? And she, so she paused. She was thinking about it with a little nasty self. She was like, well, no, I, 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 no. So he was like, well, I'll tell you what. Won't you come on in and have a drink? She went in. That let you know right there, a little helper wanted to get a freak on. She did. And so, honey, <laughs> she sat there and was having her little drink while she was watching them get it in, honey. Robert is the freak of the week. You hear me? Little freak of leak. Honey, he tried to get it in in America before he head back to London the next day. So, he getting it in with the lady. So, he gets up off of the lady. He comes over there to Andy. He gets her and bring her to the bed, honey. He on one side of her. The lady on the other side, they both kissing all up on her. She liking it, too. She liking then she started kissing the woman all up in the mouth and everything. <laughs> Honey, to each his own. I don't judge nobody. If that's your thing, go ahead, baby. I just don't have a freak number that high. I don't. <laughs> but Andy do. <laughs> So that was her night, honey. So then, boom, skips right on in. Fatima and Zach getting it in, honey. I hate to see it. Hey, I hate to say it, but they little love scenes be, honey. I be like, ooh, child. Because, like, honey, the guy that plays Zach, I forgot his name, something Ellis. But anyway, he fine to me. He is. And 
Honey, he be getting it in. They be looking so real with them, too. So, anyway, they was finishing up doing what they was doing. And then she was just like, oh, I just, I got to go home. He like, what? Because, remember, he got a high-dollar hotel room in the same hotel that um, Robin is staying in. So, she, he like, well, you know, why are you trying to go home? You know, he done told her about, I guess, I think he told her about the money. Well, she knows that he hit the lottery. To, I mean, not the lottery. The stock hit for him. The first time when he got that over seven hundred thousand dollars, but I don't, I don't think he told her about the one point seven million dollars yet. But anyway, so she was just like, I just, <laughs> you know, she just so sick. She's like, I don't know what this feeling is. I just, I, I don't know what this feeling is. And he's like, What's wrong, baby? Tell me what's wrong. What's going on? You know, Zach, he's the man right now. I'm the man girlfriend. He got his biggie swag on right now. So he like, What's up? So she's like, I just never felt this way before. And she was like, Basically. Whenever uh, I think about you and Karen, it just makes me sick to my stomach. And when you said that, whatever you said about Karen, remember he last week he got mad and was like, yeah, they got back together and they had sex and all that, man, which was a lie he was saying to just try to hurt her. But anyway, so she was like, it just make me, you know, it make me sick to my stomach. So he was like, you ain't got to worry about that. You know, I'm here for you. I'm all in with you. I'm all about you, honey. Zach is, he is really committing to her, or at least for now. <laughs> Y'all know how Mr. Perry Penn do, child. Ain't no telling what's going to happen with their story. Although, I do believe this is going to be a good one. Because, one, people love to see them together. And, two, child, they showed up as presenting at the Soul Trade Music Awards. <laughs> I know they ain't together in real life. But just to show them again, the crowd was like, ah, because we like to see them together. Period. Okay? I definitely like seeing him more than I like seeing him uh, like seeing him with her than I do like seeing him with Karen. Because Karen just get on my nerves with her little bossy little self. So anyway, so she just was like, look, I think, I think, I, I think I love you. <laughs> he was like, so you think uh, you know. I mean, honey, Zach Swag is on a hundred. You hear me? <laughs> and I'm loving it because he is feeling himself. So she was like, I, I, you know, he was like, well, I love you too. Boom! All right, honey. That's the second I love you in tonight's episode. First was Gary and his chick that we done found out about that we already knew about, Loki. And then now Zach and Fatima exchanging the L word. Mm, mm, mm. So, boom. Moving right along to Miss Karen and born behind Aaron, honey. <sighs> Did y'all ever realize that their names match? Karen and Aaron? Anyway, so she's like, he's laying there sleeping in the bed or whatever. She's like, I'm watching him. I, I, I don't deserve you. No, Karen, you don't. You deserve to be by yourself for a minute. And that's a good thing. Get yourself together, girl. Just sit down somewhere. You know your heart's still with Zach. Why are you trying to move on to be with this other man? Be fair to that other man. You can't give him all of you because you still over here got that good soul tie with Zach and can't let it go. I digress. So he wakes up, which he wasn't sleeping no way. He's like, what you say? I think I heard you say something. You know, all the, they just so phony to me. That's why they just work my nerves. Every time I see they scene coming on, I'm like, here we go, Chad. I miss the beginning, Karen, when she was ghetto and hood and talked a lot of trash. I liked her then. Now she done got all soft. Try, you know, now she all mushy and all that. Anyway, so that was that. They just had a little talk about, you know, he's getting ready to go to work. And then, boom. He tells her that he loves her. Now, y'all know Aaron already told her that he loved her. And so she said, I love you too. Three times in tonight's episode, honey. Three couples done said, I love you. Child, they call this the wild card. It's like the love and the wild card, okay? So, boom, that was their story. So, next thing you know, here comes Mr. Zach, honey, Clay. Got on a nice little suit. It's like a, uh, I think it's just the vest and the, and the slacks. Pin stripe, the white, well, not the white stripe, but the thin stripes, but the widely apart. Gray, white stripes. Zach was looking good. Mm -hmm. He was looking good, honey. He stepped up in the bank like, <laughs> guess who stepped in the room? <laughs> honey. So, Maurice was like, ooh, uh, 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 
you know, because he was so clean. So he walks up to the counter. He strolls up to the counter. Like, yeah. You know. So Maurice's like, okay, you looking nice. He's like, well, you know I try. You know I try. <laughs> Honey, I'm loving this new uh, Zach. He's so confident. I guess $1.7 million plus the seven, uh, over 700000 that he got. Now, that's like two, almost $2.5 million this boy done got in the last, what, I don't know, a couple months or so. That'll give me a new swag, too. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, uh, here comes Sabrina with her nosy self. With her uh, violating hip of her high self. She knows she ain't supposed to be talking to nobody business about their account working up in that bank. So, she's like, oh, no, Maurice, I got it. I got it. I got it. And Maurice's like, no, I can get it. She's like, no, I got it. I got it. Because she want to be nosy. Well, honey, good enough for her. Because when she got up in that account, Zach was like, yeah, I'm going to need to go ahead and make a transfer. Uh-huh. I want to transfer $1.4 mil into a savings account. And what's the highest interest bearing the savings account you got? <laughs> go ahead, Zach. And she's like, uh, 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 what, what, 1.4? He said, yeah. Yeah, as in 1.4 million. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and put that into the savings account. So she looking at the account and she go ahead and she get it done. She her words got all twisted. She like, well, I think it's the uh the money, the market money and the, the the savings, the money money. He said the money market savings account. Yeah, well let, let me go ahead and get that. She like well, uh, 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 uh. he was like, and when you're done, he so she gives him the receipt or whatever. He look, he's like, I don't know, is that is that enough zeros? Is that is that the one point four? Because y'all know he funny, honey. She's just looking at him like this dude up in here really short. Now he was he looked, he said, Oh, okay, okay, okay. It, it it's the 1.4. <laughs> he was like, and do me a favor. Make sure you call your girls. Mm -hmm. She's like, Well, uh, well, Zach, you know, I, I I can't do that. That's against ethics. He was like, uh -huh, yeah, right. Ethics. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying, honey. And Maurice in the back, like, mm-hmm, child, because he like siding with Zach, like Zach gotta go it up. <laughs> Sabrina low-key hating, can't wait to go run and tell his business. He don't go with Karen no more, okay? They broke up, okay? It's over. So what he do is his business. But I know she gonna go run her mouth. So anyway, he strolls up out of there looking good. Maurice like, honey, you wearing that suit? He like, I try, I try. You know, so he got his swag on a million, <laughs> like them dollars in his account. So that's that. Boom! Roll over to Miss Danny. Of course, they only really showed her at work this week. So, um, the stripper guy that they used to go to school with, that used to be fat, that lost weight, and now he's all buff and fine and all this stuff, and he's a dancer. She sees him again in the airport. She's like, dang, you always traveling. He's like, yeah, I gotta go make that money. She said, mm, sound like prostitute. Mm. Two shit to me. Mm, mm, mm. So he like, no, yeah. I'm like, yeah, whatever, chat. So he keeps saying, come to the club, come to the club. And so she like, why do you keep asking me to come to the club? And he's like, because I want you to come. Make sure you bring your girls too. So he gives her a flyer or whatever of some other dude on the flyer. I'm like, well, what? why are you carrying around a flyer with another man's beep on it? I digress. So anyway, she she's like, okay. So she takes a picture of the flyer and send it to the girls. Like, y'all want to go, honey? Sabrina, the first one calling back. Who is that? Where, where, where they at? Yeah, girl, let's go. Let's go. So Andy said she was going to go. And then they was just saying, um, well, what's her, Sabrina told her. Not Sabrina. Danny told Andy, look. Do not bring Fatima, you know, because of Karen's situation. Don't don't bring Fatima. So she's like, okay, yeah. But she's like, but is Karen going to be there? She's like, no, but still. So... She was like, okay, so y'all know Andy's like in the middle of the whole Karen and um, uh, uh, what's her girl name? I don't forgot her name, y'all. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Fatima. Andy is in the middle of, uh, now nah, I don't forgot the other girl name. Okay, Andy's in the middle of Karen and Fatima. <laughs> okay, forget the bloopers. I might edit it out. I may not, okay. So anyway... Um, back at the office, okay, so you know Fatima has set that little, um, phone call up because Hayden's stupid butt was eavesdropping, so, he, he girl, honey, y'all know this fool that came to work with an orange shirt on and some jeans and a blazer, just like she was talking about on the dog on phone, <laughs> so she like, I knew what I knew, so her and Eddie decided to approach him, and they had like a little manila folder, it was like, here, this for you, this is 
records for the IT department that says you have been eavesdropping and listening to uh, Fatima's phone calls. He was like, uh, looking stupid and busted. And he was like, what, what, well, uh, and she was like, yo, you gonna quit listening to my phone calls, you MF, and she started cussing, honey. Andy had to close the door, because you know Fatima, she ain't playing, okay? She thinking, I bet them hands is quick, okay? I think she can fight a man or a girl. I mean, she, <laughs> Fatima tough. So she was like going in on dude, so he was just like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And Andy was like, yep, I already done emailed the partners. And I recommended that they fire you. He was like, oh, no. What, what? But I helped you get a settlement. She was like, so? He was like, uh, uh, I won't do it again, though. I won't do it again. For him. He was like, we know you won't because you're not going to be here. Okay? Okay, little punk. So they got him shook so they turns out they sitting in the little break room after the fact laughing or whatever and so Fatima's was like did you really uh, call the partners or email the partners on him and she was like no girl so he deserved to be scared okay he need to sit his little stupid butt down and sitting up messing with zach and hating honey and Fatima don't put him on blast in front of andy and was like i ain't never felt you like literally never felt you so andy's like what well, what and he was she was like <laughs> Yes, girl, like a feather. He told me, oh, come on now, Fatima, you gonna do me like that? <laughs> which I already knew, honey, the sex must have been whack because mm, which she called him whack. She said, I already knew you was whack, but honey, you was whacker, okay? So I knew it was, that's what it was, why she said she had did it once with him and she didn't do it again. I mean, ladies, if you watching and if you know, that's a sure tell sign that she didn't like it, okay? So anyway, back to the fact that they are now, Andy and um, Fatima are now in the break room talking. And so Andy's telling her, well, back it up. Andy had asked her earlier in her office if she'd ever been in a threesome. And then she ended up telling her about her and Robin and that woman and how she liked it and all of that. Fatima, of course, confessed that she had been in a threesome before with a guy that she used to be in love with. And she was just recommending, like, never to do it. Um, for Andy never to do it and that she would never do it again. But anyway, so Andy let her know, honey, I did it, honey. And I liked it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She liked it. She kissed the girl and she liked it. Mm-hmm, okay. And so Fatima like, well, you know, are you doing it because you mad at Gary or, you know, she was like, I did it for me. So, stepping out on the little wild side, pulling a little wild car, a little freak a leak. So, that was that. And then uh, in the break room, after the whole Hayden confrontation, uh, so, I just don't agree with this, but Fatima was telling Andy how she's in love with Zach, and how she told Zach that she loved him, and how he said he loved her back, and how he's really putting the pressure on her about committing, and how uh, he's just been blowing her mind with the sex and everything. So Andy's like, oh, I don't want to hear, uh, you know, <clears throat> being very immature. You know, I do understand she's in the middle of both of them. But, I mean, all she got to do is just listen and don't have no response, no comment on both sides, you know. But, you know, little skinny Karen, she don't like that. She feel like, of course, because she ain't feeling Fatima no way, but she feeling like Andy don't need to be friends with her. Period. And she definitely don't need to be holding information. But honey, while they sitting up there talking and, and passing the tea about Zach, <laughs> guess who shows up? Mm-hmm. Miss Karen sure did. She popped up and she's like, oh yeah, really? Because she heard Andy telling Fatima, that's good for you. Because you know Fatima was talking about how she loved him or whatever. So uh, Karen like, oh yeah, really? Mm, is it really that good? I said, ooh, honey. So then uh, what else happened, child? Oh, Andy, uh, not Andy, Danny called Rodeo or Preston while he was at work or whatever. And she, she was like, so what you doing? What you do last night? You know, now she acting all in her feelings and acting jealous because she done seen that picture of his so-called cousin that he's living with, which is this woman who was married to his blood cousin. So this woman ain't really his cousin and apparently she's beautiful. So Andy jealous now. So... You know, he's like, well, I got to get back to work. You know, he's like not blowing her off, but at the same time giving her the space that she requested. But now she's, you know, she keep yo-yoing this man, you know. I know he down with the swirl. He like him a little bit of chocolate every now and again, but he might want to just find somebody else. Okay. So anyway, she hangs up and then somehow she hears a message or she, now she's hearing some kind of phone call or phone message. And it's the woman talking to him. Tell me, oh, you like my dress? He like, yeah, it look good on you. So, she, so then he's like, oh, okay, cousin, huh? So anyway, that was that. And then, honey, Mr. Maurice. So basically going into um, 
next week. Oh, let me go back. Calvin and Sabrina. Another little nasty little freak a leak a leak a leak. She's thinking about doing, uh, putting on a strap on and, and giving him what he wants. Show sure is. She told Maurice that she did her research and she found out that a lot of straight people do it. Okay, y'all, if y'all watching this and you straight or heterosexual, especially men, is that something that you are into? Okay, now this channel ain't that type of channel, but this is the topic on this show tonight. Is that something that you as a man would like for your woman to do? And if so, do you still consider yourself to be straight or heterosexual? I mean, I just want to know because I'm not understanding, right? And so, you know, she's like thinking about it or whatever. I guess because she really want to be with him. So I'm assuming that's going to play out uh, in these next few weeks or whatever. So rolling into the little uh, sneak peek of next week. Uh, Fatima and Karen gonna get into it. Cause Karen like, this little B, da 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 da. Fatima like, who you calling the bitch? What? Honey, you know she thick, honey. She got them hands. She'll take Karen and just break her little tail, honey. Karen like, you B? And she done threw a little stuff down. Karen ready to get buck, honey. So, they at, now mind you, they are at the law firm where Andy and Fatima work. So, Andy's in the middle of them like trying to keep them apart. Cause honey, Karen ready to go. You know, she mad. This woman took her money. Now, I mean, it took her man. Now he got all this money and he ain't wanting her. And it, yes, Karen is mad, even though she still love Aaron. Okay. Confused. Ain't nobody got time for that. So that's what's going to happen with them next week. Can't wait to tell y'all about it. Um, what else next week? Um, Oh, Maurice and that dude Q, the one who tried to rob the bank or whatever. Well, he calls Maurice. And then when Maurice walks in his house, honey, Q sitting up in the house. So Maurice's like, well, what you doing here? Because Maurice scared of him because that Q is a thug, honey. He done had a hard life. He done grew up hard, honey. Ain't no limits to what he might do. Okay? So that's going to pop off next week, too. So pretty interesting pretty good uh episode tonight it's getting better and better so let me know if you watched it please like share and subscribe if you have not done so yet go ahead and drop some comments below too like for my fellas if you're watching answer the question is that something you into what calvin likes is that something you like okay i just want to know for my ladies is that something you've done with your dude is that something you like I heard back in the day, though, back in the 90s, God rest her soul, Miss Kim Porter, I, when she was with Puffy, I heard, now I heard this in the 90s, that they was doing that, mm, that she was doing, putting it on, putting the, the strapping on it for him. Mm -hmm. I believe it. Mm -hmm. I ain't saying nothing against her, but I'm just saying, like, I, I think he, he liked that. Allegedly. Anyway, so y'all, thanks so much for tuning into my channel tonight. Again, y'all know I'm on this goal right now. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers by the end of this month. This is Vlogmas going on, so make sure you check out my Vlogmas Day 1 video, which is um, a natural hair care product review of the Mayel products. So let me know how you like that. Make sure you like and comment on that one as well. And then... Um, I got a video video for you every day this month. So holla at your girl, okay? Help me get to 100 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. All I want for Christmas is for you to subscribe to Bless to Be a Blessing. So I can keep blessing you. That's it. I ain't asking you for no money. I ain't got no cash app like some people do. None of that. I just want y'all to come holla at your girl. If Give me some tips. Give me some feedback. You think it's something that I can do to change? Something that you can give me some advice? Something that can help me? Something that will make you more interested or interested? Let me know. Y'all, I'm open to constructive criticism. All right? So I'm not going to hold up too much of your time because I'm tired. I got another show to watch, another recap to do, and a couple more videos to edit. Because like I said, we dropping them every day this month. Every day. Again, it's your girl LaQuinta, a.k.a. Q, here at Blessed to Be a Blessing, where we are blessed to be a blessing. Don't forget, guys, that you reap what you sow, a.k.a. karma, so you better sow some good. All right, so now y'all be blessed. Have a wonderful evening, and I will see you soon. Good night.